Hey guys, welcome to my channel iCode. I am Pallav and today we are going to look at a very useful feature which was a major missing in UI kit for a long time and that is bottom sheets. Prior to iOS 15, there was no straight way available for creating the bottom sheets, there was no API and from iOS 15, Apple introduced something through which creation of bottom sheet, presenting them, controlling them and everything else has become a piece of cake now. So today in this video, we will see that how can we create a bottom sheet using UI sheet presentation controller. How can we configure it? How can we change the UI like adding grabber, adding corner radius? We will even see that how can we handle the scrolling without increasing the height of the bottom sheet? We will see that how can we handle the tab on the background view without dismissing the bottom sheet? And in brief, we'll see everything related to bottom sheet that we can achieve using UI sheet presentation controller. So let's get started. Let's start with a very fundamental question that why do we need bottom sheets at all? When we are having view controllers, when we are having views and such provisions which covers the entire frame of our view of our device, then why are we looking into the bottom sheets? And the answer to this is that bottom sheets creates a user experience which tells about the intermediate state, a temporary state in user's journey. So when we do not want our users to leave the context, the main activity which they are performing, but we want to present some intermediate states, some temporary actions, we generally go for a bottom sheet. And that is why bottom sheets have become a very popular design component over the years. Now Apple realized this, maybe a little late, but the good part is that they introduced a component, they, they provided an API through which creation of bottom sheets and configuring them and everything else has become so easy. So let's look at it. I'm having this dummy app here in which I am presenting a controller on tap of this section that is mood. So on click of mood, this, this view controller is being presented and we will try to change this to a bottom sheet and let's see that how can we do that. So the first thing to notice here is that whenever we present a controller, the default presentation style is always sheet. We do change it for, for presenting it as a proper controller to cover the entire screen, the entire width and height of our screen the, to change the frame. But the default presentation style is always sheet. So the concept of sheet is already there. Now let's see that how can we change its height to present it as a bottom sheet. And for that, here in this action from where I'm presenting my mood selection VC, that is my view controller that is being presented. I'll use sheet presentation controller of this mood selection VC. So flat sheet is equal to mood selection VC dot sheet presentation controller. Through this sheet presentation controller, the entire configuration of our bottom sheet will be controlled. After getting the reference of the sheet presentation controller, the first thing that we'll be doing is that we'll be changing the height. So for that, we'll use sheet dot detents is equal to dot medium. Now this detents is something which is used in machinery to control the falling of any object. So whenever we want to control the falling of any object to a particular height and then release it depending on our will, there is a component called detents. So that is the little meaning of word detent and Apple used it in a very appropriate context of falling of the sheet. Now this detents is an array. And through this, we can specify the number of height configurations that we want. So either we can go for the medium height that will take half of the screen height, or we can go for the large that will take almost complete height of the screen. Or maybe we can mention both of them. So for now, I am just putting medium here and let me give it a run so that we can see that how it works and what has changed after using this details property and this sheet presentation controller. And now let's try selecting this mood section. We see that the sheet is being presented as a bottom sheet which was covering the entire height of the screen earlier. It has been presented as a bottom sheet now. So that is what this medium detent is doing. And if I try to drag it to make it occupy the complete height of the screen, it resists. So to get that behavior, we can include one more detent here and that is dot large. So as of now, only these two events are available from Apple. Maybe they will include more in near future, but as of now, only these two detents are available. And now if we see, the bottom sheet is taking medium height first, but then if we try to drag it, it covers the full screen. That is, it moves to the last detent part. That is because our detents array is having both the configurations, medium and large. Now let's look at the next feature that this sheet provides us, and that is the controlling of the scrolling. So if I try to scroll in this table view, we see that the bottom sheet is growing. And once the bottom sheet will take the last detent, then probably we can scroll in our table view or whatever scrollable component is there. But what if we want to restrict the growing of the bottom sheet, but we want the scrolling behavior within the bottom sheet itself. That is something that we can achieve using a property that is sheet dot refer scrolling expands when scrolling to edge. And if we set this to false, 
we'll see that we'll be able to scroll in the bottom sheet itself while the bottom sheet will not grow to the large detent so if i present it again and now if i try to scroll this you see that the scrolling is possible without bottom sheet taking the complete height of the view so that is something which is very useful again now let's try some ui customizations so let's say that you want to inform your user you want to to indicate your user that this bottom sheet can grow to the full height of the view and for that if we want a grabber kind of view here that is out of the box available in the bottom sheet with the property prefers grabber visible and if we set this to true we'll see that we'll get a grabber in this bottom sheet at this place which will indicate the user that this bottom sheet can grow so let's try it again and you see that there's a small view here which is looking like a grabber we can even play with the corner radius of our bottom sheet so if we are having our application the theme of our application the view supports more rounded corners so in that case we can get the same behavior on our bottom sheet too so if we go for the corner radius that is preferred corner radius and we can just specify it here and our bottom sheet will take that value so after setting this to 24 now if we run it you see that the corners of the bottom sheets are now more rounded and it, it matches with the theme of our application because even here the views are rounded corners so again that that was a ui customization available and now let's see that if we do not want our bottom sheet to be dismissed on tapping outside how can we do that so as of now if i tap outside this bottom sheet it gets dismissed that is being automatically handled by sheet presentation controller but if we do not want this behavior what can we do so for that there's a property that is sheet dot largest undimmed detent identifier so what this will do is that it will define the largest detent identifier through which the bottom sheet will work and any tap outside that particular area will not dismiss the bottom sheet so if i mention this as medium here let's see what happens so if i open the bottom sheet and if i click anywhere outside the bottom sheet is not being dismissed so earlier we were even having a black color dimmed view here uh, a view with very less opacity of black color that was indicating the user that if you tap on this section the sheet will be dismissed but when we have set this property to medium that view is now gone and which means that now user can interact in this particular area now the point comes that why do we want this where can we use this behavior so there can be many use cases when you actually want your user to interact on the background view and then perform something in the bottom sheet or vice versa for example i have seen a feature of sharing the lyrics in one of the music streaming applications so there they have a postcard kind of view here a thumbnail kind of view of the movie poster which is having the lyrics over it and then the user can customize the lyrics they can change the font color and and, and the background image everything so at the same time they can even play with the background view and the bottom sheet itself the controls that they are having on the bottom sheets so in such scenarios you actually want your user to interact with the background view and the bottom sheet both so to achieve that your sheet should not be dismissed on top of the background view that is something that you can achieve using the property largest undimmed detent identifier now let's try one more thing that how can we increase the height of this bottom sheet programmatically so if you are allowing user to to interact in this background view what if let's say user taps on this button that is add medicine and then we are having the provision for getting the medicine added here at the bottom of the sheet in this section add reminder so for that if i want to increase the height of this bottom sheet on tap of this add medicine button how can we do that let's see that for doing that let's first grab the instance of our sheet presentation controller so if let sheet is equal to my vc dot sheet presentation controller and now we can animate our bottom sheet using the detent identifier so for that we have an animation block here that is animate changes and then what we can do is that we can change the selected detent identifier of our sheet sheet dot selected detent identifier and if i change this to large the sheet will animate and the selected detent will be changed to large so let's give it a run let's present our sheet first and now on top of this add medicine button we are having its action over here this method in which we made the changes let's try tapping it and we see that the sheet automatically grows its detent identifier has been changed to large so that is why we see this change so that is how we can programmatically change the height of the sheet we can make it large medium or maybe we can even dismiss it these were some of the customizations possible on the bottom sheet that we can get using the sheet presentation controller although they are not much but the good part is that now we can get a bottom sheet with minimum lines of code an api is available out of the box to get the bottom sheet and you can apply all these things all these customizations to not just your controller that you create 
but even the controllers that you get from the system so for example if you are having a photo picker in your application and if you want the photo picker view that controller to be presented as the bottom sheet you can even do that because this property that is sheet presentation controller is available with every view controller so that is how you can get the max of it i hope that you found the video useful and you will give a thought to the sheet presentation controller next time when you go for creating a bottom sheet so that's pretty much for this video a new video comes out every week so you can consider subscribing to the channel let's write battle code together happy coding and stay safe